Hello everyone, really nice to meet you here virtually this time. And today we are going to talk about the admission requirements, which you will be expected to meet whenever you are planning to apply to study at Vancouver Island University. So my colleague Amira and I will go over, um, very briefly, we'll go over a few requirements today. So let's jump straight to it and let me share my screen. Vancouver Island University, you already know where it is. Um, you probably selected the program already you're going to apply for, but let's talk about the admission requirements and how to submit your application. Um, so to, we'll start with that overview of the admission requirements for the undergraduate programs. Then we'll briefly speak about the same admission requirements, but for our graduate programs. And then we'll give you a brief overview of the application submission process and some tips on how to apply, submit your application correctly and do it in a timely manner so that there is no unreasonable delays. Uh, today you'll be seeing two of us, me, uh, Mikhail Ivanov, I'm the international recruiter focusing on the regions of the Middle East, Eastern Europe, as well as recruiting students for, the, uh, for our language programs here at VIU. And my colleague Amira, um, who will be speaking with you shortly, she is recruiting students from Africa, United States, international students in Canada, as well as um, our students for the high school on the U campus. So let's start with the admission requirements for the undergraduate programs. And the good thing that there is not that many requirements to begin with. Uh, there are two main points to keep in mind. First is your high school transcripts. Uh, if they're not in English, then you have to translate them into English and send us an authorized translation and send us uh, high school transcripts for all years of your high school, whether it's three or four years. So that's the first requirement. The second one is the English language proficiency. We accept a range of internationally recognized tests, IELTS, TOEFL, um, whether it's grade 12 um, English results as well, um, whether you're studying within BC curriculum or American curriculum, those grades can be accepted as well. Just quick note about Duolingo. Uh, we are not going to accept Duolingo any longer, but if you're planning to start studying with the course of ESL prior to the academic program of your choice, you can submit the Duolingo results so that we can determine your current level of English and see how many levels of English prep courses you have to take prior to the start of your bachelor degree. Let's say you've submitted to your high school transcripts, you've submitted to your English language test results, but um, there are so many different curriculums in the world and uh, quite, it's common that um, your case may be very specific. Don't be discouraged, just submit the high school transcripts you have on hand and then our admission team will um, process uh, your special case. Let's say if you are completing an IB diploma, then we'll need minimum 24 points. Um, whether it's standard level or high level grades, um, they uh, accepted both. There might be some variances um, in future, but as of now, we treat them equally. Um, English A at standard or high level is accepted as well. If you're coming from British curriculum, we simply require two A-level courses and three O-levels with grade no lower than C. If you have some AS-level courses, they're accepted as well as two, two AS-levels being equivalent to one A-level. If you're coming from a different region, let's say region that I focus on, which is Russia, Ukraine, or Kazakhstan, grade 12 is not even existing there at this time. So we accept grade 11 as the terminal grade of your high school being equivalent to a British curriculum grade 12. So whatever region, whatever country you come from, send us your documents, uh, submit the complete application online, and then our admission team will reach out to you. Um, and if any documents are missing, then um, uh, you'll be sent a separate email. Additional requirements. 120 programs to choose from, so many programs to apply for, Many of those programs have very specific prerequisites or additional requirements. So I would encourage you to go to our website and check the program specific page where you will see what additional requirements you might need to meet when submitting or prior to submitting your application online. It can be either subjects at specific level, let's say English 12, pre-calculus 12, physics 12 or chemistry, 
or it can be a resume, let's say if you're applying for Bachelor of Arts in Interior Design. It might be a portfolio where you need to upload your samples of your artwork. Uh, it can be an audition if you're applying for a Just Studies program, or it can be a food safe certificate if you're going to apply for one of our certificate or diploma programs within um, culinary arts. So please go online, you see the link uh, below and check the program you apply for prior to submitting application online. So uh, Mikhail has taken you through what the undergraduate admission requirements are and now I'd like to highlight for you if you have already completed your bachelor's studies, your undergraduate studies outside of Canada or within Canada as an international student and you are hoping to apply to a graduate program, which would be a graduate certificate, a graduate diploma or a master's program, then these are the academic requirements that you would need to meet to attend one of these at Vancouver Island University. So the first is a bachelor's degree with a minimum B average in the last two years. A bachelor's degree for us would be a three or a four year program. We need to see your official academic transcripts. So we want to see the courses you have taken and the grade for each of the courses that you've received. If your studies were completed in a university where English was not a first language, then we would like to see the official translations of any documents that are in a language other than English. And a standard requirement for all uh, countries where English is not a first language is the proof of English language proficiency. And those levels would be an IELTS of 7.0, no band below 6.5, a TOEFL of 93, no section below 20, or you can complete VIU's graduate preparation. And there is a list of other English language proficiencies that we accept, which are on our website at this link. And additional requirements. So when you're applying for a master's level program, a graduate program, we are also looking for extra things in addition to your academic background. Copy of your passport, photo page is a standard. The letter of intent is common across all of our master's programs. And with this one, we would like you to answer specific questions. We want to know why you have chosen VIU, why you've chosen this particular program, and why VIU should choose you. Please do make it very personalized. Um, and we want to see that you've spell checked it and that it's targeted to our university. Another requirement is your resume. It should describe education, work, and volunteer experience. If you are required to submit letters of recommendation, that could be for employers or professors. There is a required format. It should always be on a letterhead. You may be required also to attend an interview with our faculty. And the last additional requirement is an assessment form. And on the next slide, I am showing you a sample of it. It's a very particular form. You would need to have the person who recommends you fill this form and send it directly to our university. So let's see how to submit the application once you've selected the program, once you're ready to apply. Well, first, you should double check the program requirements and deadlines again. So make sure that you meet those program requirements before you submit the application. That will simplify the process and save you from possible delays in future. So once you've checked the program specific page, once you've checked the application submission deadlines, once you prepare the notarized translations whenever needed, and scanned all your documents, please go to the um, uh, application submission page on our website and I'll show it to you in, in a moment and uh, fill out the online with the form online. Once you fill it out and pay the application fee, 150 Canadian dollars, it's a non-refundable processing fee, um, you would be expected to receive an answer from our admission team within two to eight weeks. Normally it takes about two and a half weeks, but depending on the holidays and um, other uh, documents which you might be submitting or the program we applied for, it might take a bit longer to hear back. So the earlier you apply, the better. And uh, keep an eye on your emails. So the email which you've mentioned um, on the application form when you were applying online would be the main email where you would receive any communication back from us. Please check your spam folder as well. Be ready to send the original documents to VIU. Um, depending on the program, we may require to see original documents. Finally, if you need to follow up, feel free to follow up either with admissions directly or reach out to us, Amira or myself or the other recruiter you are in touch with. Now, uh, let me go online to our website and show you um, 
where you can submit the application. So you should be seeing the home page of our website now. You can either click on international students on top or simply click on the menu and click on start your application button. That will take you to this page and there you can see application for international students and domestic students. So if you are not a Canadian citizen or permanent resident, then it means you are international student and you click on this button. Here you can review the admission requirements again, documents you need to submit. When you're ready, click on apply now. And this is quite a simple form. Um, first, you fill out your basic information, first name, last name, everything and what's in red has to be completed. Your address here as well. Then you check whether you're applying just for the academic program or for the language preparation course as well. And then here you select the program of your choice. If the program is listed here, it means that we are accepting application for it. If it's not listed, it means uh, the deadlines have passed or too many students applied and the, we are no longer accepting application for that program. So again, the earlier you apply, the better. So let's say you select a Bachelor of Arts, then you select the term, let's say September next year, 2021. Scrolling down, here's the address of VIU where you will be able to mail your original documents. And here you attach all those documents which are required by your program, your high school transcripts, picture of your passport, language test results, and all other additional documents. Mention the high school you're graduating from. If it's not you, a student, but a, let's say an agent who submits application on your behalf, then they will check the box here. And then at the very end, pay the application fee, $150 and submit your application. And our uh, penultimate slide are some application tips for you. So you need to know that it is competitive entry to get into the majority of programs at Vancouver Island University because we are a teaching focused university. We are a public institution and our programs are very prestigious. So you need to distinguish yourself when you're preparing your application. Please speak about your experience in the field, what you plan to do with the degree, what value you will add to the class when you join. Please take your English assessment as early as possible so that you are not delayed by factors that are outside your control. Prepare your notarized translations of your documents well in advance. Upload all of the required documents at the time of application because a complete application will be processed a lot faster by our admissions team. Each document should be a separate PDF. So do not combine your resume and your letter of motivation in one PDF when you upload it on our application form. And the final tip, pay your application fee at the time of application, preferably by credit card. That's a brief overview of um, how to submit the application uh, to Vancouver Island University. Thank you.